There is more than 30 cubic feet of storage behind the rear seats and when you drop those seats, you get almost 70 cubic feet. Adding to the versatility is split folding seats that can be stowed easily with handy buttons in the cargo area. The tailgate in this limited model is also powered, but it doesn't seem to lift very high, meaning that if you're a bit taller, you risk getting a head injury every time you're packing the trunk up. While the boxy nature of the car makes it very helpful when stacking large items in the trunk, the cabin needs more practicality in terms of places to put your stuff because the cubby and bottle holders are a bit small. Additionally, the center storage area could be a bit bigger so busy families could stash larger items like iPads in there. But don't take that the wrong way, this car has a fantastic interior, and it's a solid place to spend your time. The leather seats in this test vehicle are done up in a pretty upscale brown shade that is really eye-catching. The Forester also features more sound deadening than thicker windows, so it's not as loud as it used to be. The seats aren't the most supportive, but they're soft and comfy. Fit and finish are good, especially with the nice vac controls in the center stack. There are a few screens in the cabin that do a decent job of giving the driver information they need, but one frustrating element in the car is the infotainment system. It's slow and clunky to use, which is frustrating because recently updated Subaris like the Impreza arrived with